Hey everyone, Mark Luber here from Careers Out There. You can find me at careersoutthere.com. I recently interviewed Joe Sullivan. He's a chemical engineer in the pharmaceutical industry with over 10 years of experience. I asked Joe to explain to us some of the different careers for chemical engineers, and here's a look at how that went. So you were, you were telling me that there's a lot of different things that you could do career-wise, a lot of different paths you can take career-wise as a chemical engineer. Can you tell us what some of those are? Yeah, yeah. Um... Most chemical engineers are going to start your career off um, one of two ways in the laboratory or the design um, uh, realm where th that might be like working in the lab every day essentially to test new equipment or to test whether the equipment could be used for a certain process um, or to actually sit down at your computer and like design the factory. Um, or you're going to be um, starting your career like, like I described out in the factory every morning um, um, basically problem solving. So that's how most young engineers start actually. Um, and other things you might do in that role is like validation um, work where you're testing tanks um, and uh, making sure they perform to specifications and things like this, right? Yep. Um, so as you get older then, um, your options open up a little bit, um, usually to the standpoint of you can continue to go down those roles um, you can uh, possibly become like a managerial position, right? Um, where uh, you're managing like a number of engineers or managing like an entire process. So you might be managing like an entire factory uh, or you might be managing a team of engineers that are, are helping several factories. Um, there's different roles depending on, you know, this varies. Then after that, after you have gone a little farther in your career, you may become um, a consultant. You may decide that you have developed so many skills over your career that you now can go out and help other people with processes like, like yours and, and other companies, right? Um, or you could become a plant manager. Um, so like someone who is basically managing the entire operations of the plant. Um, and the reason why engineers are well suited to those positions is that um, we, as I mentioned before, we are often in the center of working with all those different types of people and you get a really good exposure to um, all the aspects of running a plant, right? Like, um, you know, like all the, 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 the minutia that goes on. And so you're often well suited then to become a plant manager because you just have that, that base. Right. right, right. That makes perfect sense. Yeah. I hope this video is helpful for you guys. If you liked it, please click the thumbs up. And if you want to learn more about the career path, you can find the full interview at careersoutthere.com where we interview professionals from all kinds of career paths about what they do so we can help you find a career that fits you and you can love what you do. You can also find us at Facebook, Twitter, and lots more videos here on YouTube. Thanks again for watching, everybody. I'm Mark Luber. Look forward to seeing you again soon. Take care.